Hi, my name is Kamal and today we are going to learn all about black holes. Black holes have got to be one of the most mysterious parts of our universe, yet some people find it really hard to understand because it deals with quantum physics and so on. But I'm here to show you how fascinating black holes can be. Now, what is a black hole? Black holes are a region of space-time exhibiting gravitational effects that are so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. So, how is it formed? What are its properties and structure? How does it grow? And how does it die? Formation Radiation from a star's core push against gravity. The red arrows represent radiation from the star and the blue arrows represent gravity. These two great forces push against each other, creating a very fragile balance. But over time, the fusion process at the core of a star burns out and creates iron, and iron does not create energy. Therefore, the iron builds up bigger and bigger to a critical point when there is no more energy. This affects the perfect balance between the star's radiation and gravity. When the balance is broken, the core collapses and the star implodes and is turned into a black hole. In other words, black holes form when a massive star runs out of fuel and becomes unable to support its heavy outer layers of gas. If the star is large enough, approximately 25 solar masses, then gravity pulls on the star and causes it to grow smaller and smaller until its density reaches infinity at a single point, and that is called the singularity. The theory of general relativity states that a sufficiently compact mass can deform space-time to form a black hole. In other words, black holes are a great amount of matter packed into a very small area. So what would happen if you got trapped in a black hole? The mass of a black hole is so concentrated that gravity acts on your body with millions of times more force than it would act normally. Pulling you apart cell by cell. Until you are kind of like a human noodle. Properties and structure. The Nohair theorem states that at a stable condition after formation, the black hole has three observable physical properties. Its mass, its charge, and its angular momentum. A black hole is made up of three parts. The singularity, the inner event horizon, and the outer event horizon. To better demonstrate the different parts of the black hole, let's do an experiment. For this simulation, all we need is a basin with a hole in the middle and some water. Place the basin on a flat surface and fill it with water. Then lift the basin and watch as the water starts to escape through the hole, creating a whirlpool effect, very similar to a black hole. Now imagine that this is a black hole. This would be the singularity, the collapsed star, the inner event horizon, the region around the singularity where nothing, not even light can escape, and the outer event horizon, where objects still feel the gravity of the black hole but do not become trapped inside of it. Growth After the black hole forms, it can continue to grow by absorbing mass from its surroundings such as other black holes and other stars. Death And now we come to the death of the black hole. So, how do black holes die? Black holes die through a process called Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation states that if you look at an empty space, it isn't really empty. Instead, it's filled with virtual particles popping into existence and annihilating each other. When this process happens at the edge of a black hole, one particle will be drawn back into the black hole, while the other will escape and be turned into a real particle. So that's how the black hole loses energy. And over time, the black hole will radiate away with the energy of over a billion nuclear bombs. But this process is incredibly slow. It can take a black hole up to a Google year to evaporate. That's one with a hundred zeros. So, what do black holes mean for our future? Some experts believe that black holes may allow us to time travel or see into the future. How cool would that be? The study of black holes has a long way to go. And maybe in the future, you can be part of it. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.